and welcome to my series, But Make It Cute, where I take traditionally ugly characters from movies and TV and redraw them in a cute style. It's almost Mother's Day and I'm coming back with everyone's not so favorite, Mother Gothel from Rapunzel. And wow, am I in for a challenge. I'm doing her old form because that was the scariest visual in the movie. I did a lot of old lady studies, which may or may not have helped, you tell me. I actually think her young character design is really nice. They made her very beautiful. She was modeled after the one and only Cher after all, and uh, I'm quite positive I've met someone that looks like her in real life. And her renaissance dress, or whatever era that dress is from, is a really nice contrast from her big green eyes. She only looks scary when she got old. And honestly, as an aging woman myself, I kinda get her motive. Not saying she was right but I'm struggling with getting older too. It's something we will all face. If I had a magical flower that could keep me youthful, I don't, I don't know if I would do the same thing. But hey, it'd be nice to have for a bit, just till I'm ready to accept my fate. My goal was to keep her big green eyes and voluminous hair exactly the same. Actually, I think I kept most features. All old wrinkles are there too. At least they're captured as best as I could. Um, I really only changed her expression to a more peaceful loving one like a proud mom she's so unhinged in her old form that's what made her scary she could have passed as the cutest old lady if she weren't so obsessed with youth embarrassing confession time when i first saw this movie i really thought mother gothel loved rapunzel <laughs> like i thought she was a good mom just overprotective it took me probably three rewatches to realize, oh, I am wrong. What does this mean? The amount of gaslighting, I, I guess I just didn't know the word for that at the time. If you've seen my other videos, you know the drill with coloring is pretty much just keeping the exact same colors, just toning them down to be a bit more pastel-y, a little more cutesy friendly. And there's the final product, so what do you think? As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.